Welp, looks like it's the start of a brand new day. Good morning, honey. Rise and shine. Today is a big day for you. Good morning, mom. What is the big day you're talking about? Today is the first day of school for you and Taylor. You will be starting your sophomore year of high school, while Taylor will be starting her new high school career as a freshman. You both will be attending Viand High School, and school starts in an hour, so I want you to get dressed so that we can be ready to go. Oh what? School is back already? And I have to go to a new school? This school sounds super lame and boring. Or oh, Tristan, don't say that. I know having to adjust to a new school can be challenging, but trust me, I know you are gonna like the staff and the teachers there. They are incredibly nice people, and they will help you adapt to the school environment in no time. But enough cha chat. You should start getting ready for school right now so that you won't be late. Fine. I guess I'll get ready for school. Now that's what I like to hear. I will be waiting for you downstairs. And breakfast will be served as well. Okay, Tristan and Taylor, are you guys both ready for school? Yes I am, Mom. I am so looking forward to this new school year as a high schooler and as a freshman. I can't wait to make new friends there and experience high school for the first time. Well honey, I am so happy to hear that. I'm sure you both are gonna have a good first day at VHS. Anyways, let's get inside of the car so that we can go. Okay. okay. The new students and their mother have arrived. Okay, thank you. Bring them in. Hello there. Good morning to you all. Are you two the new students here? Yes. Okay. Thank you both. You three may take a seat. Well, it is a pleasure meeting you guys. My name is Mrs. Carolina Ramirez, and welcome to Beyond High School. I am the building principal here at this facility, and aside from myself, there are three other principals that help run the school as well. Their names are Mr. Roden, who is the vice principal, Mrs. Herrero, who is an assistant principal, and finally, we have Mrs. Kowalski, who is also an assistant principal. All of us help make this school the best experience a student can have during their years in high school. Now Mrs. Davidson, you said that Taylor was going to be placed in the 9th grade while Tristan is being placed in the 10th grade. Correct? Yes. That is right. All right. So, for Tristan, since he is in the 10th grade, he will have Mr. Bat, who is a geometry teacher, Mrs. Strong, who is a U.S. history teacher, Mr. Shanagar, who is an English 2 teacher, and Mrs. Cardet, who is a biology teacher. Lastly, we have Ms. Angela who is a co-teacher that helps with students who need extra support if they may be falling behind in a class, and she helps with all subjects. Now, for Taylor, since she is in the ninth grade, she will also have Mr. Bat for Algebra 1. He teaches both Algebra 1 and Geometry Math, so both of your kids will have him for their classes. Really? That's so cool. He sounds like an amazing teacher. He sure is. You two will like him a lot. Anyways, there is Mrs. Maya, who teaches environmental science, Mrs. Christine, who is an English 1 teacher, and finally, there is Mr. Carlos, who teaches world history. Mrs. Martinez, like Ms. Angela is also a co-teacher that helps with students that need the extra support in their classes, and she also helps out students with special needs and disabilities too. Finally, we have Mrs. Hernandez, who is the school nurse. Mr. Smith, who is the bullying case manager, Mrs. Alexandria, who is the freshman guidance counselor, and Mrs. Williams, who is the sophomore guidance counselor. Here are both of your schedules. These have both of your locker combinations and numbers, as well as the room numbers your teachers will be at. Thank you, Mrs. Ramirez. Now Tristan and Taylor, I want you both to be on your best behavior while at school. And I want you to have fun with your new high school experiences. Okay? Yes, Mom. I understand. Fine, I guess. Good. 
You two should head to your classes now. I love you both. Have fun. Have a great first day of school, you two. Okay, class. Before we start our lesson today, we are going to be having a new student coming to our class in a moment. Remember to show kindness, fairness, and respect to the new student once he arrives. Oh, wow. A new student? How cool. I wonder who he will be. I hope he likes sports. I can't wait to be friends with him. Me too. We'll find out once he arrives. You may come in. Why, hello there. Are you the new student of this class? Yes, I am. My name is Tristan Davidson. It is a pleasure to meet you, Tristan. My name is Mr. Bat, and I will be your geometry and homeroom teacher for this year. And I am Miss Angela, the second teacher in this classroom. I will be in some of your other classes as well. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I would. I just moved into Vion City not too long ago, back in August. I like to play video games, and my favorite colors are black and red. Very nice of you to tell us a little about yourself. Okay, Tristan, you may sit in any of the seats that are available. Okay. Okay, class. Take out your workbooks and turn to page 226. We will be learning about congruence theorems. Man, today has been such a boring first day at school so far. The lessons are long and lame, the students are bland, and the atmosphere just seems off. Also, I barely even know any of the students here, besides my annoying sister Taylor. I wish some of my Flying Eagle friends were here, but I have my doubts. Whoa, is that Dylan and Lamar? I didn't even know they attend school here. I will go over to them right now. Dylan, Lamar, over here. It's Tristan. Tristan? Oh my gosh. What's up, dude? It's so good to see you. It's good to see you both as well. I had no idea you guys attended the same school together. Yeah! We do. Unfortunately, it's just me and Dylan attending this school. All our other friends are attending Open Sky Boarding Academy, so it gets boring most of the time. Yeah, tell me about it. This school is so boring. I just came to this school not too long ago, and I already hate this place. I want this stupid school year to end already. Plus, I am a sophomore, while you guys are juniors, so I am not in the same grade as you guys either. Well, that sucks. Honestly though, the teachers last year weren't that bad, because I actually took the time to pass their classes. However, the one person that I could not stand last year was our principal, Mrs. Ramirez. She always gets in our noses and she got us in trouble so many times last year. One time, she got me in huge trouble for beating up a boy named Michael for taking my girlfriend away from me, even though I didn't even beat him up that badly. She got me arrested for it as well. And even worse, she prevented me from attending my senior year and made me retake the 11th grade this year, which means that I won't be graduating next year and I won't be able to graduate until 2023. Now I have to spend two more years at this crappy school now, and it sucks. Just like Dylan, I also got in trouble many times last year thanks to her. Wow. I can't believe she did all of that to you both. I thought Mrs. Ramirez was a somewhat decent person, but she shouldn't even be treating you both like garbage. You guys are awesome and deserve way better treatment. Ugh, I know right. I wish we could get some well-deserved payback against her, but we're not even sure what to do. Wait a second guys. I have a good idea. How about we get revenge on her by destroying her entire office? It would give her some well-deserved payback, and she won't have an office to stay in until she gets everything fixed. It would give her some good comeuppance for everything she did to you both. How about that? Tristan, you are an absolute genius. This would be the perfect way to get revenge on her. However, we will need to do it during lunchtime, because we still have period 3 to go to, but once it does hit lunchtime, we will go into action. We'll meet up at the cafeteria and execute our plan accordingly. This is gonna be so good. Well, it looks like it's time for our next classes. 
We shall get going now. Okay. See you both later on. Alright. Now that Tristan is here, let's get this show on the road. Let's head over to Ramirez's office right now. I think I'll go grab myself some lunch from the school cafeteria. Let's see what they have on the menu today. Alright guys, we only have a small amount of time to do this before we get caught. So let's do our thing right now. Okay. Dylan Dawson up to bat. One swing, and this computer will be completely useless. Now, Dylan swings. And there goes the principal's computer. Dylan, one, computer, zero. Huh. That is gonna be hard to clean up. Okay, Tristan, go ahead and flip that table over. Of course. And there. Her desk has been flipped over. Now she'll need to fix everything back to its original place. Serves her right for getting you both in trouble. Now the last thing we need to do is flip over that huge cabinet next to us, and I think we're done here. Okay, I'll do that right now. All right now. Three, two, one. Okay guys, our work is done here. Now let's quickly get out of here before we get caught. That was a very good lunch. Always nice to have some pizza every once and a while. Now I will go ahead and... What the? What in the world happened to my office? Everything is a complete mess in here. And my laptop is in complete smithereens. And I bet it was one of the hundreds of troublemakers we have at this school. Oh so help me, when I find out who did this to my office, they are gonna be punished very severely. I need to call the other principals and Mr. Matthews to help me figure out who the culprit is. I have a good feeling who might have done this mess, but I won't be so sure until I get some evidence. I need Mr. Roden, Mrs. Herrero, Mrs. Kowalski and Mr. Matthews to please come to my office immediately. Something very bad has happened in here. Oh my goodness. Carolina, what happened to your office? It's a mess. I have no idea. That's the reason I called you guys over here so that we can all figure out the person or student who did it. Mr. Matthews, do you think you can check the security cameras around this area and look at all the footage we can gather? Of course, Mrs. Ramirez. I'll go do that right now for you. Trust me, we will find the person who did this, and when we do, they will be in very big trouble. We'll help clean up this office as much as we can. I can't believe one of our students would do something as terrible as this. Alright, I've got the security camera footage from an hour ago and put it on my laptop. It should be viewable now. Okay, thank you Mr. Matthews. You may place it on my desk. Alright, I pulled up the video file, so let's fast forward a bit and see what happened during lunch time. What? That's still in Dawson and Lamar Gravely, both from the 11th grade, and that's the new student that came today, Tristan Davidson, from the 10th grade. What were they doing in my office? Oh my goodness. So that's what happened to your computer. How did Dylan even get access to a baseball bed in the first place? He must have stole one of them from the gym, because it looks exactly like the ones that are in the storage closet in that area. That is some very bad behavior. And now, it looks like Lamar knocked down the bookshelf, Tristan flipped over your desk and knocked everything on it off, and then Dylan pushed over the cabinet that's in here. Tristan also ripped the bulletin boards off the wall and threw it across the room. That explains why almost everything in here was a mess. Oh my goodness. 
That was one of the worst cases of misbehaving I have ever seen. And the fact that a new student was involved in it makes it even worse. I didn't think Tristan was going to go down this route, but it looks like he has. Well, looks like I will have a bone to pick with those three. That type of behavior is not acceptable at all. Do you three know why I called you all in my office? Um, no we don't. We don't even remember doing anything bad today. Quit lying to us. We both know what you all did. You came inside of my office, which is off-limits unless you are called in here, and then you proceeded to make a huge mess in here and left it in ruins. Plus my laptop was smashed with a baseball bat. Don't ask how we knew that, because we got the security camera footage of when it happened, and the people in the video were you three, so there's no point in lying about it now. I have to say, I am very disappointed in all of you. Dylan and Lamar, you guys know better than to behave like children, but Tristan, I expected better from you. This is your first day, and you couldn't even go through it without causing trouble. Your mother told me you had behavioral issues, but I didn't expect you to do something like this. Consequences will be handed out to all three of you right now. Dylan and Lamar, you will be suspended for two weeks, and after your suspension is over, you will have lunch and after-school detentions and help pay for everything that you broke, including Mrs. Ramirez's laptop. And for you Tristan, since you are a new student, you will only be suspended for three days and only have lunch detentions when you return to school. You will still have to help pay for all of the things you damaged. These punishments will be enforced tomorrow. Return to your classes and get out of my office now. Oh, 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 Dylan, what the heck is wrong with you? How dare you help Lamar and Tristan trash up Mrs. Remy Rez's office, and how dare you smash her computer with a baseball bat? You know that doing that kind of stuff can get you into some serious trouble, and now we have all these items that we have to pay the repairs for. Why can't you just behave for one day? That's it. You are grounded for the same amount of time you've been suspended for, which is two weeks. And we all already know what you will be eating for that time period, so there's no need to say it. Now go to your room right now, and think about what you did. Wow. Oh my god. The Marquesh on gravely. What the hell is your damn problem? We can't believe you snuck into your principal's office and made a huge mess inside of there with your stupid friends. We've told you a million times to stop misbehaving at school, but no. You continue to disobey us and now we have to help repair everything that you three broke today. You are getting so out of hand that we don't even know what to do with you. That does it boy. You are grounded for three weeks. That means no TV, no Switch, no Xbox One, no Internet, no phone, and furthermore. And while you are grounded, you will only be eating lumpy potatoes and raw vegetables for your meals, and we mean it big time. Now get into your room right now before I give you a belt beating. Why? Tristan Davidson, are you serious right now? We all can't believe you and your friends went into the principal's office and made a huge mess inside of it. There was absolutely no reason for you to do something like that at all. Today was your first day of school, and you have already made a bad image of yourself in front of your principals and the teachers. Now thanks to you, we have to help pay for all of the things you've damaged again, and you have already been suspended from school. That does it young man. You are grounded for two weeks, and when you return to school, you will owe Mrs. Ramirez an apology for everything you did today. And while you are grounded, you will only be eating raw vegetables for your meals until you are ungrounded. Shame on you, Tristan. Now get to your room right now, and don't go out of there until we say so. Wow.